Hello Taurus, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Please and thank you. So we have the Ace of Swords and the Five of Cups. So you guys know exactly what you need to do in order to produce some sort of change within your life. Uh, it's also in order for you to overcome some sort of like situation that has been draining you emotionally here, making you feel at a loss. Um, I'm seeing like you guys have your, your sight set on achieving some sort of success here but you're needing to make some sort of decision about taking action towards something. And we have the Page of Cups in reverse here. Um, the Page of Cups, when it's in the reverse, one thing that you guys are needing to be mindful of is not uh, procrastinating over or imagining something. Instead, they're guiding you to actually take action towards it because Source is all about thoughts. Um, communication as well so we're still in the manifestation process but you guys know what you need to do what action you need to take in order to make something happen here in order to get yourself out of this uh, five of cups energy the good thing is I'm seeing that you guys are moving out of it because it's in the reverse and your challenge position is the hierophant in reverse and judgment so breaking free of some sort of tradition here, um, not allowing other people to place their values upon you and making you feel like you need to do something their way. I'm seeing you guys are needing to take on some sort of rebellious uh, attitude here, um, feeling more confident in your approach towards particular situations. Um, it's doing what you know is best for you. Use, using your own judgment. You're needing your own judgment here in a particular situation. There's some awakening that's taking place. Yeah, because the root of this situation is the magician. So realizing that you possess all the power within yourself in order to make something happen here in your life. But I'm getting like the main issue is that you guys have a tendency to have people to tell you like to sway uh, your actions here because they're telling you what they think is best for you. But really, they're placing their fears upon you because they could have been too afraid to do something, but you're not. Uh, so they're wanting you to use your own judgment regarding a particular situation. So page of wands, the tower, and the four of pentacles here. So some sort of good news through the form of communication is divine intervention with the tower that's going to help you establish some sort of foundation for yourself. It's going to create some sort of stability where you guys will be put in a place where you're not living paycheck to paycheck, but you actually have money to hold on to for yourself. So it's the beginning of building some sort of legacy for yourself. Let's see. Source in reverse and the high priestess. It looks like there's some sort of opportunity coming uh, your way. With the Hierophant in reverse and the judgment here, you guys know exactly what you need to do. It's, it's very clear. You know exactly what you need to do. Um, the, main, the main message here is knowing your own power, feeling confident within yourself because there's a potential that you guys may miss out on a major opportunity that could change your life completely around. 
you guys could be in the process of telling yourself something's not meant for you because if it was meant for you, it would be easier or you would know how it's, it, it's like really trying to have all the answers at once versus going with the flow and allow allowing things to naturally come to you. And it's like what you can't control, then let it be and control what you can. Six of Cups in a reverse, there's no going back. The work that you've done, you can't reverse it. There's no going back. You only, at this point, you're only progressing forward. But there's no backtracking. If you were to go back to a certain way of doing things, of living, it's not going to work for you. It's not going to feel right within your spirit. So there's no backtracking. You've already outgrown something here. The mother star, yes. And the eight of cups. I'm getting this. You guys have already put in a lot of work towards something. You're getting a clear yes um, as to something taking place for you. You're being blessed with something here. Uh, you're needing to keep like a positive mindset when it comes to your manifestations, but you've already put the work towards something. So trust that it is coming towards you because it's uh, popping up in your future position. Seven of Swords, you have... People see you as being very uh, resourceful, adaptable. People acknowledge that they put you through a lot. Um, you could have had people talking down to you, people saying a lot of negative things about you. It was a lot of dishonesty spread about you. But these people see that despite all that they put you through, you were able to uh, make things happen in your life um, in ways that they never imagined. So it looks like you guys are doing something here. I'm getting like within the next seven months, there is something that's going to shock a lot of people that's taking place in your life. And I'm, I'm really getting you guys have cut off communication with several people here as well because of their dishonesty and the way they acted towards you. Um, some of you guys could deal with people who are stealing from you as well because Seven of Swords is the card of thief or theft, I'm sorry. But with the Seven of Swords, it also talks about someone who's adaptable, someone who knows how to survive. Um, but I'm seeing you guys going from this energy of surviving to thriving. And people see it's like, no matter what they put you through, you were able to come out on top. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You see some people, things are not... Uh, the way you're looking at some people is that they're not going anywhere in life and it's because they're not willing to put in the work that's required of them in order to make something happen within their life. But they continue to focus on what you're doing, but you're putting the work in. You're not focused on these people, whoever they are. You're not focused on them. You're focused on your North Node, wherever you're being guided, whatever you're being guided to do. But it's some people here that are focused on you the issue is they're so focused on you, they're not focused on what they need to do in their own life. So they're ultimately blocking their own blessing because they have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. But you're well aware of it. And the thing is, I'm seeing you guys smiling at these people because you're looking at them like you did all of this to block my blessings, to stop me from having this in my life or you try to stop me from becoming this or that. And ultimate, ultimately, you end up blocking your own blessings. So I'm seeing you guys like smiling because you know you were able to come out on top in a situation. You beat the odds, basically. Because there's some people here that were not expecting you to make something happen in your life at all because of everything that they were doing to you. Two of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. Your advice here is to not allow your past experiences to prevent you from expanding further in life. Some of y'all may subconsciously allow things that you were told, um, the way you were treated. Um, it's certain things within the past that it it's really the Queen of uh, Swords is an energy of needing to heal the heart chakra because Holding on to resentment can create blockages for you because some of y'all may feel some sort of discontent 
uh, as to why things are not progressing the way you would like it to. And you kind of feel like you're fighting against the current. But really, it's just your mindset. Is you, you feel like you have to fight against the current in order for things to take place in your life. And that's because of the way you were brought up. But they're basically telling you to do the shadow work that you need to, first of all, that you're being guided to do, so that these past experiences do not create blockages uh, within your life as you're progressing forward on your journey here. I'm seeing that you're getting there regardless, but it's up to you whether you're going to make it more difficult for yourself or not. And I know, like, I, I do, like, I'll, next I'll get back into the love messages. But since it's the beginning of the month, I really want to get into spiritual messages because it's so much that people want to manifest. They're working. But the thing is, if there's work still to be done and we're sitting up here, we're wondering why we don't have this, why we don't have that. But we're totally disregarding what we're being guided to do. So I want to help people bring uh, or want to help bring clarity towards that so we can start actually having what we are trying to manifest in our life and not sitting up here coming and trying to see the possibility of something happening but actually living it becoming living proof that this can happen to someone this can be someone's story forgiveness i told you guys medicine man or medicine woman yes this is you're forget letting something go and doesn't mean that you have to allow people back uh into your life but it just means no longer holding on to this resentment uh no longer it's like every time you're talking to somebody if their name comes up you gotta go off you know about what happened but if this is talking about your healing begins with forgiving someone here letting it go so there's something that you guys are needing to let go of Some of you guys could be getting dreams as well from this person. Someone like trying to message you. They could be trying to contact you in your dreams. You guys have been having dreams about this person. Or your spirit guides are just showing you what you need to work, work on, what you need to let go of. And they're revealing that person that's creating a blockage within you because of the resentment you hold towards that person. So travel. Whom do you, um, tell, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. Whom do you need to forgive? There is someone that you guys are needing to forgive. I'm telling you, some of y'all have been having dreams about this person. The reason why you're having dreams about this person, pay attention to what's going on in that dream because that dream is telling you the triggers. What about this person is triggering you? And that's exactly what's creating a resent or what's creating a blockage within your life. So that you're not able to progress forward. So they're they're telling you what you need to work on, what you need to work through here. Because with travel, this is all about movement. Whoever you're needing to forgive is creating a blockage in your movement here. Forgiveness come out twice in two separate decks. So this is an important message for someone. Trust and strength. Okay, so you guys, something that you're needing to do, um, knowing that you have the courage to make it happen, you have everything you need within yourself to make something happen, and trusting in the universe that this is going to take place for you. Uh, some of you guys, is just insecurity here, and it's because of some people that you were dealing with you have this insecurity within you and that's part of the blockage the resentment that you have but it's actually that resentment that you're holding on to is also causing you to hold on to some insecurities here so you're needing to release that so you can move forward you have the strength to make this happen
Okay, so you guys have the links. Keeper of secrets. Take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing, nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see others' secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. Some of y'all are able to like see right through people and it intimidates others. But that's one of your spiritual gifts. It's like you see the secrets within people. You see like their soul. You can see the soul of a person. But you guys know the relationship that you have with the divine is that you know like to keep this to whatever secrets is exposed to you know to keep it to yourself some of y'all have learned this over time i am getting enough or am i getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life you are the access or the accent i'm sorry this body is your vehicle notice how your body is feeling how much sleep you are getting and what you can do to help your body rest today's soul action take a bath put on some lavender essential oil go to bed ridiculously earlier give yourself a time out today notice your body thanking you today's mantra the more i give myself permission to rest the more i can contribute so some of y'all are not getting enough rest they're asking you to do some things to help uh, relax. Sacred Convergence, 28. There is a coming together happening within your body and soul, a unification of all that is within you. This is akin to traveling to a strange land as all sorts of new sensations, not all welcome at first, begin to make themselves known to you. If you are experiencing discomfort within your own body or uncertainty and a sense of expansion to include more of life in your thoughts and feelings, then you are conscious of this sacred convergence. It is like two worlds or more colliding. If you are sensitive, you will feel it happening as an important event without necessarily having a physical situation to contribute the experience to. Or upon wish to hang an explanation. You may also be encountering this in a very physical sense by finding yourself in situations which you previously would have avoided. You may be meeting people and thrown into relationships with them, apparently more by circumstance than by your own conscious choosing. This is a meeting of you with your shadow and some and something to rejoice in. Even if it is uncomfortable at times, be gentle and loving with yourself and kindly seek to find the beauty in what you are learning about yourself in your interactions and experiences. You are a wise soul seeking to know yourself rather than judge others. Remember your divine protection as you are thrilled and challenged in this time of great growth. You are guided to be curious as, uh, as though traveling to a foreign land and remaining open to experiencing its tre treasures. This oracle holds a message for you. A deeper part of yourself is calling you forward. Any discontent, struggle, anxiety, or fear is a subconscious recognition of this. Don't worry, you are a unique plant in the divine garden. You don't have to know what plant you are in order to grow. You just need to live each day and the growth happens naturally. Then you can see over time the beauty of your true nature revealing itself to you. It will be a revelation to be relished. So they're wanting you to just be. Not to force anything at this time, but to just be. Your commitment is being tested. Have faith in your dreams. 
So some of you guys, they are basically saying how committed you are to your dreams. Meaning, some of y'all, there's some doubts that tends to come in when it comes to you wanting some sort of dream. And they're saying, okay, some of y'all will be tested to just lower your standards to go for the here and now to just settle for something. But there's something better coming in for you. Some of y'all, this is relationship-wise, but a lot of you guys, this is regarding your career. Uh, something you're doing uh, within your life and you can just settle for the here and now or you can continue to put the work towards creating some sort of legacy for yourself because some of you guys have a very high calling upon your life but it just depends everyone is different not everyone is meant to be a movie star not everyone is meant to be an award-winning author or some you know some of us we you know just what we do within our community is grand and it affects the lives of so many. So be proud of whatever you're doing. So we have third eye chakra and suffering in silence. I'm really getting you guys are gaining the knowledge as to why you went through so much within your life. You're beginning to gain some sort of understanding of why you went through certain things um, and how it's contributing contributing to where you are going and what's upon the horizon for you. So I'm getting that you guys are learning to embrace the challenges that you had to face because uh, a lot of you guys will be sharing your stories with others, but. I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.